Hey, this is Cloud ETH Miner, and I'm here for anyone considering mining Ethereum, but who would like to watch somebody else do it before they take the plunge and jump in. Uh, personally, I'm about seven days into mining Ethereum, and I've done a little bit of research to help get me here. So I want to share some of that uh, for anybody who's interested and who wants to mine along with me as I go. Uh, so why did I choose Ethereum? Uh, I think I got into Ethereum around when it was about uh, in the low 100s uh, earlier in 2017. And at the time I had heard about oh, this, this cryptocurrency called Ethereum is the new Bitcoin and it's just jumped up so much in price. Um, I thought that I had missed the train, uh, but I went in and I bought uh, a few coins uh, just so I could hold on to it in case something happened. And then I forgot about it for a couple months. And uh, clearly in the past month, there's been a huge rise in all cryptocurrencies. And I was pretty happy to see that my Ethereum that I purchased had uh, gone up quite a bit in price. And I wanted to know what else could I do? How could I earn even more money from Ethereum? Um, I didn't really want to purchase more coins uh, because it's quite risky. And uh, I want to see what I could do with the profits I'd already earned. So I started looking into mining Ethereum. Uh, I'd looked into mining Bitcoin previously, and I, I knew a little bit about mining rigs using video cards. And uh, frankly, my, my PC building days are far behind me. And I knew that my wife wouldn't want, uh, you know, that kind of rig hanging out in our basement. So I, I was pretty sure I didn't want to be a miner myself. I started looking at whether I could mine on my own laptop or, or what else I could do. And that led me to look for other options for mining. Uh, quickly, I, I found Minergate, which I could run on my Mac or my PC. And I realized I wasn't going to be able to pull enough power to really mine anything uh, that was worth anything at all. Um, but I found out quickly about cloud mining. So I found out about the two main companies, Hashflare and Genesis Mining. I'm not going to compare them in this video. Uh, I, I don't know a lot about Genesis Mining, which is why I didn't choose it. Uh, at the time, uh, Hashflare looked like uh, a great um, uh, option, and I still think it's a great option. And uh, so I quickly jumped onto Hashflare and started doing some calculations and, and try to figure out what I should buy from Hashflare. Uh, so when you travel over to the Hashflare website, uh, there's a little bit of interesting information I can comment on here. Uh, certainly uh, Instant Connect for sure. I, I was uh, up and running very quickly. Uh, they don't have real-time stats, so I had to just trust that things were happening. And I, I found that my uh, Ethereum was being mined and it showed up the next day. Um, unlimited term contract doesn't apply to Ethereum. Uh, they sell those in one-year contracts. Uh, I haven't been to the instant withdrawal portion yet, but I'm hoping that that's easy. Uh, detailed statistics, I'll show you in a little bit. The stats are okay. Uh, pool allocations, absolutely, you can decide how to pool. And I, I will get into more about that in future videos. And then fixed fees, uh, so far, that looks pretty good. It looks like I've made one time purchase there, and uh, that'll do me for the next 12 months. Um, find a cloud that's right for you. Obviously, I was interested in mining Ethereum. So... I noticed that they had a, an ET hash algorithm miner. Uh, as you can see on the website, you can mine 100 uh, KH per S, which is uh, 1,000 hashes per second um, as a minimum. Um, they claim that they mine this using GPU rigs. I don't, I don't, you know, you can do some research into that end, uh, but that's per basically where I was at. How much of this should I buy? So doing a little bit of research, ultimately you're probably gonna find yourself on Crypto Compare uh, I started looking into the Hashflare Ethereum mining contract page, and uh, I'm sure this will update as time goes by, but they claim that I could make my money back in 102 days, which is pretty good in a 365-day contract. Um, they have an example here that for 100 million hashes per second, um, at zero fees per day, I can make back $21.53 per day. Uh, that's 150 a week. $646 a month and almost $8,000 per year. And that's pretty much where my jaw hit the ground. Um, that is almost like printing money. The, uh, the fact that I could spend, they claim $22 per um, million hashes per second. Uh, so that's uh, that works out to 2,200 for 100 uh, million hashes per second and I could make $8,000 per year. Um, 
wow, that's fantastic, as they claim 357% profit. Uh, you can't really go wrong with that. Um, but obviously, I'm skeptical, especially about a claim like that. So I started looking around for what do I not know about mining Ethereum. And I think that's the key to this video is a lot of us find out this amount of information. We find ourselves at a calculator and everything looks so rosy. It looks like a no-brainer. I mean, in seconds, you're probably recommending this to your, your friends and your family. Um, so yeah, again, uh, going into... Uh, Cloudflare, you can see that 100 million hashes per second is 2,200 USD per year. Um, as I mentioned, there are calculators. Crypto Compare has one. And um, they, if I put in 100 here, for example, uh, even based on today's pricing, they confirm that it's $7,500 profit per year, uh, $20 a day, and a total of 21 Ethereum mined uh, in a year. So it looks really too good to be true. Um, what you will notice is uh, it is a little bit too good to be true. Um, mining Ethereum uh, gets harder as time goes by. There's um, the difficulty level uh, will increase the, and that's gonna make it uh, harder to find uh, or to mine Ethereum coins, uh, which means that um, you won't have as much Ethereum at the end of the year and you won't make as much money. Um, you know, in the disclosure, which is the fine print down on this page, you're going to see that um, the mining metrics are based on, uh, in this example, uh, 49,895 giga hashes per second and um, an exchange rate of $356 US. Uh, Ethereum's a little bit under that today, so they're using optimistic uh, USD values there. Um, it's based on a fixed block time of 15 seconds. Uh, so, I tried to kind of go on a quest and see, uh, could I actually look at um, how difficult it is going to get over 12 months and get a more realistic look of how many Ethereum I'm going to mine over the year. So I, I started with an Ethereum difficulty chart and I saw, holy shit, it, it gets difficult fast. It started out this year in February at about uh, 137 uh, trillion. Uh, I'm assuming that's a, that T is a trillion. Uh, on the difficulty, and it's 750T today. Um, so it has uh, it has risen, what, like more than five times in only six months. So is it going to raise uh, 10 times over the next year, and how is that going to affect my mining capabilities? Uh, what I did was I took that data as uh, on the difficulty. I also took some data on the hash rate uh, historical, as well as the block time historically. And then I did some simple um, kind of projections in Google Sheets to see how high that could possibly get in one year. So there's no guarantee that it's gonna be as bad as it looks here, but it looks pretty bad. It looks like uh, we could go from uh, where we're currently at, so difficulty of 745 to a difficulty over 75,000. Uh, that we could go from a hash rate that is currently around um, 49 million to almost 500 million. So that, that's a pretty big leap. And then in terms of block time, it looks like this doesn't jump around so much, so it's gonna be very hard to predict what block time will be in a year from now. So I use this information to try and put a forecast together because I wanna know, is this real? And, and if I invest in this, I knew I was gonna invest $1,500. Could I actually make my money back? So this looks really complicated right off the bat. And it probably is. I'm just going to go through it quickly and, and help you uh, just get the essence of what I learned from it. So I decided I was going to spend $1,500. That's going to buy me 70 um, million hashes per second. My current Ethereum price is uh, 308 today because we've had a bit of an Ethereum crash. Uh, today is the 21st of June, 2017. So um, actually, I'm mining an average of uh, uh, 0 0.41. Uh, Ethereum per day. Um, my target is at 0 0.37. Uh, that's calculated just based on uh, the calculation for how much Ethereum you should be able to mine based on uh, that 70 million hashes. So I'm doing a little bit be better than what my target is right now. That's going to uh, that's going to get me about 13.75 Ethereum after 12 months if nothing changes, and uh, we know that's not going to be the case. 
as you can see, that's a little bit more conservative than um, the calculation I was probably going to get from Crypto Compare. Then I looked at two different curves, uh, a poly curve and more of a linear curve. And the poly curve is telling me that I'm going to mine more like 3.5 Ethereum over a year. That's pretty pessimistic. Um, the linear curve is telling me I'm probably going to mine more like 8.64 Ethereum, uh, which is still fairly low. Uh, if I uh, calculate that based on today's Ethereum price, that's going to get me uh, anywhere from $1,000 uh, over the year to $2,600 to $4,200. So remember, I'm spending $1,500. Uh, that means in, in the poly scenario where I only mine three and a half, I'm actually going to lose money over the year. Uh, I, I build that out month by month. So you can see that on the poly scenario, I lose $461. On the uh, best case scenario, I make $3,126. $3, and on the uh, other scenario, I make $1,128. Sorry about the phone call. So um, I don't really mind spending $1,500 to make $1,000. So actually, after I did this forecast, I felt somewhat optimistic that my absolute worst case scenario was losing $400, bucks, which I'm um, willing to do. In fact, owning Ethereum coins, I could uh, lose that much easily um, just with the, the ups and downs. Um, you can see how I've graphed out kind of here uh, each of the scenarios. So I decided to pull the trigger and go ahead and I went and I bought uh, 70 um, million hashes per second. So you can see, oops, you can see that that cost me, I don't know if I'll be able to drag it to the right place, but that cost me 1540. And you can see that I've now been running that for about seven days and um, Hashflare has estimated I'm making about $13 a day. I'll make about uh, $92 a week and I'll make $4,821 a year. So obviously they're using that best case scenario calculation. Uh, I've been copying that out into my spreadsheets. You can see I'm actually averaging just under $15 a day at the, uh, well, actually that's the older Ethereum price, but yeah, I'm averaging about $15 um, a day, which is a really good start. Um, I went looking around to see if there are any other tools which consider the, the uh, increasing difficulty of Ethereum mining. I found a couple. My crypto buddy uh, does the same type of calculation that I did. They're a little bit more optimistic than my worst case scenario. It's kind of hard to see the results, but they think I'm going to mine four and a half Ethereum coins instead of three and a half. Uh, they think that um, I'll be making about $344 a month. So that's that's interesting um, and that made me feel good as well that I was making a solid investment because I believe that over the course of a year, um, I think we can switch this to total profits, that that works out to about thirteen seventy-five. So I'm still going to lose money in that scenario, but I'll only lose $200. Uh, there's also a tool at uh, Cryptocurrency Mining Calculator. I'm going to put the links to this these all in the description. Uh, this uh, takes in uh, a lot of different factors, a quadratic difficulty prediction method, and they tell me that in a year, uh, are similar to the, the last tool, that I will make about 1255 profit. So again, a small loss. Uh, one of the things that these tools don't factor in is the actual growth in the price of Ethereum. They assume that Ethereum is going to be worth exactly what it is today in a year. I assume that if Ethereum gets more difficult to mine, that's probably going to go up in value because it becomes more scarce. So my hope is that uh, in a year from now, Ethereum's gone up in price, that uh, it, I, I'm probably off this $1,500 investment going to make about $1,000, which would be nice. And if that's the case and I see that I'm trending towards that over the year, then I will uh, probably buy some more mining and, and probably level up. So um, as I said, this is uh, a seven-day uh, seven day results. You can say I've made $100 after seven days. Uh, I'm quite happy with that return on $1,500. I haven't yet gotten that, those Ethereum coins into my own personal wallet. Uh, uh, Hashflare holds on to your Ethereum for two weeks after you set up your account. So I've got seven more days until I can take that Ethereum and put it in my wallet. So certainly I'll update all of you at that point. Uh, hopefully <laughs> I get those coins. And uh, hopefully in a week from now, I'm still averaging around that $14, $15. And for any of you investing in Ethereum, hopefully Ethereum bounces off of $300 and heads back to $400. That would be 
Very nice. So uh, thanks for listening in. I hope that you found this video useful. This is the first video that I've done for YouTube. Um, so I, I hope I get better as the videos go on. And, uh, uh, you know, best mining to all of you. Best fortunes uh, to all Ethereum miners. Bye.